Uh, hi everyone and welcome to this series of questions about electromechanical energy conversion devices and this is the fifth question about transformer and as you can see here then now this transformer is a three-phase transformer so you want to see how we will handle this question so basically the primary voltage the three-phase transformer primary voltage is 14.4 kV and the secondary voltage is 480 volt and when we the given the ratio as a three phase as mentioned here we are given the the ratio of the line to line voltages now this transformer is y connected in the primary and delta in the secondary and this is basically connected of transformer banks so we have one two three transformers each one is 100 kVA so the power of each transformer is 100 kVA and the turns ratio of the single phase transformer is 8314 volt in the primary and 480 in the secondary now because the primary is connected as Y connection the line to line voltage is basically 14 400 volt which is basically the root 3 times the phase voltage because this is a Y connection on the other hand the secondary is connected as delta so the line to line voltage stay the same 480 so this is how the transformer is connected as three phase now in the short circuit test the recorded value on the high voltage side are given here so we are given the v short circuit i short circuit and p short circuit and these values are referred to the high voltage side or to the primary then if the bank delivers a rated load which is the 100 kva for the single phase or 300 kva for the three phase and the power factor is equal to this what is the line to line voltage on the primary of the transformer then we want to find the voltage regulation so before we start the first thing we need to find is the equivalent circuit now here it says ignore excitation branch this is why we are not given the open circuit characteristic. We are only given the V, the short circuit characteristic. Okay, so from this we can find the theta, which is equal to cosine inverse of the P short circuit divided by the V short circuit times the I short circuit. Now we are working on the phase, the single phase transform. So this is cosine inverse of 3000 divided by 510 times that 12.6 and from this you can find that the angle is basically equal to 62.1 now from this you can find z the series resistance and leakage reactance which is equal to the v short circuit divided by the i short circuit and the angle is the 62.1 and this is equal to the v short circuit is the 510 volt divided by the 12.6 with an angle 62.1 and this will give me a total value of 40.48 angle of 62.1 i can convert this from polar to rectangular to find r and x so this is equal to 18.94 which is your r equivalent plus j and the imaginary part is equal to 35.77, which is your X equivalent. Now, this is referred to which to the, this is referred to primary. Now, when we deal with the transformer, as we learned from three phase systems, we work with that single phase model only. And this is referred to the high voltage side. So the model that I will be using is as such. We have here the R equivalent, which is given, to, we, calc, we just calculated that 18.94, and the X equivalent, the J, 35.77. Now, this is referred to the primary, so this is your VP, this is your IP, and this is your AVS, and this is equal to IS over, over A. Now, the turns ratio of the single phase transformer, your A, is nothing but the ratio of the single phase voltage, 8314 
divide by 480, which give me 17.32. So your AVS is basically this 10 ratio times 480, which is equal to 8314 angle of zero. So this is your full load voltage. Now, what is your IS over A is equal to the rated value, which is the 100 kVA of the power, divided by the single phase voltage, which is equal to the 8314. And this will give me a current 12.03. Of course, this is the magnitude. So when you find the angle, we know the power factor. So IS over A equal to 12.03 minus cosine inverse of the point 0.8, which is the power factor. So your current IS over A, referred to the high voltage side, is equal to 12.03 angle of minus 36.87. Okay, so what the question asked us to find, find the primary voltage, the line to line voltage. So first we'll find the single phase voltage. So from this we apply KVL, VP is equal to your IS over A times the series impedance, 18.94 plus J, 35.77, plus the voltage here, the AVS, which is 8314, angle of zero. And we know what is IS over A. Just substitute here. So from this, your VP will equal to the total voltage, 8, 8, 56 angle of 1.34. So this is the single phase voltage at the primary side. But the question asks us to want to find the line to line voltage on the primary side. So the magnitude of this VP is equal to root 3 times 8856, which is equal to a total voltage of 15.34 kilo kilovolt. So that is the primary voltage. Now, what is the voltage regulation is equal to, as we know it, is the voltage at the secondary at no load minus the voltage at the secondary at full load divided by Vs at full load. And we can use the single phase or the three phase. We use the single phase voltage, of course, here for the voltage regulation. So we'll have 8, 8, 56, which is basically the no load uh, voltage, which we calculate here, minus the full load voltage, which is the 8314 divided by the 8314 times 100. And this will give me total voltage regulation equal to 6.52%.